Are you editing your images? If not, you're missing out on 50% of the creative process. Today, I've got something truly amazing to share with you, a game changer for your macro photography. I'm excited to introduce to you the future of macro photography editing. Macro Presets version three, Adobe Lightroom presets with AI subject selections. That's right, my long awaited macro presets version three is out today. You can go in the description and take a look at them right now and purchase them if you wish to. They are currently on sale for Black Friday, so take advantage of that if you really wanna get the preset. Imagine capturing those tiny details in your macro shots with precision and ease. Now, with Adobe Lightroom presets powered by AI subject selections, it's a reality. Let me show you how they work. Once you've downloaded the presets, you're gonna have a file on your computer. That is the Stuart Wood Macro Presets V3. You simply double click it to unzip it. You do need to unzip it first. When you go in here, we have some files. There's an install uh, PDF, but the important one is the Lightroom CC presets. In here, there's another zip file. Now you don't unzip this zip file, you leave it as it is because Lightroom will do it for you. So once you've unzipped it, we're gonna go over to Lightroom. Once you're in Lightroom, you'll head over to your presets panel. Now the previous presets, which was 2020 and 2021, I've renamed those to version one and version two. Having a date on it suggests they're old and they're not really good, whereas they actually, I still use them today. So I've renamed them to version one and version two. So again, once you've downloaded the presets, we're going to come up to this plus button. I'm going to import presets and then we'll navigate over to where we downloaded our presets. Go into the unzipped file, into Lightroom CC presets and we'll click on the Stuart Wood Macro Photography Presets version 3. Again, we don't unzip that file because Lightroom will do it for us and we'll click on import. Once you've done that, you then have Macro Presets version 3 installed. And you can see here we have 16 brand new presets for Lightroom, for Photoshop and for Lightroom Mobile that have AI subject selection. Let me show you how they work. So here we have an image of Bungie when he's having his dinner. And what you wanna do is when you hover over the presets, it'll give you a preview. You'll quickly see, if I slow down the footage, where the AI selection is coming in. So I'll click over boom. And you can see the preset has the background and then it adjusts the subject. And it does a very good job. So I'm gonna click on boom now. I'm gonna take a look at what it's actually doing. So you have your usual settings over on the right hand side that the preset applies to you. But it's also selecting a mask with some presets applied to it as well. So if I show the overlay, you can see there how it is selecting the subject. And it does a very good job at it. But there are some things you need to be aware of. Once you've clicked on a preset here, if we come over to another preset and click on it, it's going to double up on the masks. So if you find this is happening, you have to reset your image and then click on a preset to apply. So let's say we want um, cold and yellow. It's selected the subject, as you can see here. If I want to apply boom again, we need to reset it and then apply boom so it doesn't double up on your masks. So what I want to do is talk about the amount slider. Some of these presets are a little overboard and it's done on purpose because I want you to be able to actively select the amount of the effect you want on your image. So let's go to boom and we will apply that to Bungie. And what we want to do here is there's an amount slider here. So if you find that it's too much, you can reduce the amount using this slider. So we can take this down to say 50 which would only apply 50% of that preset to your image. And that goes for the opposite way around. If you find a preset isn't adding enough of the uh, look that you want, we can also increase it. So here's another example image I wanna show you. Now these presets will assume that you got the exposure correctly. So they won't adjust the exposure, so bear that in mind. So if you have underexposed your image or it's overexposed, you have gotta correct that first. So you have gotta start with a corrected exposure first. So I'm gonna crop this image. And then we shall have a look at yellow burst for this one. Click on it to apply it. Come over to our mask and we shall check our mask. And it's the very first thing you check. You see here how it hasn't quite selected it. So if you find this is happening, all you need to do is to click on the add button, paint with a brush, and then we can paint that in there. There you go. 
and the same goes for if it's selected too much. So let me just put the mask back on and let's select down here. If you find it has selected too much, then all you've got to do is click subtract, paint with a brush. We can also turn on auto mask and then we can paint that out. So your very first step is to check the mask to make sure it's selected the subject correctly. Once you're happy with that, we can move on. These presets are also ISO adaptive presets. Let's take a look at that. We come down to detail. You can see here that there's already some luminance and color noise reduction applied to the image. As you increase the ISO on the images, those settings will also increase adaptively. It will take a look at the ISO settings and apply a noise reduction level that's suitable for that ISO. Now, if you're like me and you use third party denoise software, you're going to have to turn off the noise reduction. So if you find your images have got a bit soft, then just turn those off. So if you do use third party software to denoise your images, you do have to turn that off. Otherwise, you're applying it twice and your image will get soft. Let's take a look at another example. One of my favorite examples is ice. Look at how it punches out the colors on this damselfly. We'll click on that, but it's also punched out the foliage at the front. So if we take a look at the mask, you can see here that it's selected the foliage at the front. So again, I would select that mask subtract with a brush auto mask is on and then i will just brush that out auto mask works very very well in lightroom there you go and of course i am doing this very quickly so do take your time when you're doing masks so, so we're going to come back to the image of bungee and i'm going to show you how to apply these in photoshop so we're going to go to right click edit in and then edit in photoshop and what you would do here is you would do your edit so if you're going to do any type of clean up you'd have a clean up layer typically here where you might remove some dust and some specks once you've done that what you want to do is you create a new layer merge everything to the new layer we shall right click and convert to a smart object and once we've done that we're going to come over to filter and we're going to come to camera raw filter over on the right hand side you've got your presets button so you click on there and because i am on the creative cloud plan my camera raw has automatically synced up with lightroom and installed the presets for me if you find your presets aren't there all you got to do is come to these three dots click on that button and then import profiles and presets and go for the exact same procedure we did in lightroom and this is the same procedure for Lightroom Mobile as well. So what I can do here as I can click on Boom, we can apply that. We can also bring down the level if we wish to and click OK to apply that to our image. And the same goes for Lightroom Mobile. So we have an image here I took on my phone using the Apex or lens of a Harvestman. And we can come over to our presets. I'm going to go to version 3 and again as you scroll down you can see a preview of the uh, presets let's take a look at flower boom no not liking that one dragonfly cool i think is the one for that one then we'll click the tick button to apply it so it's very easy to apply these presets with adobe lightroom presets that offer ai subject selection not only will you save time but also create stunning macro photography shots like never before all of the images I'm showing you now have been edited using my Macro Presets version 3. Grab my preset bundle now and let your creativity flourish. Now, I know you're eager to get your hands on these incredible Lightroom presets. I'm offering an exclusive discount on my Macro Photography presets. And you'll get 25% off any presets. And this goes for version 1, 2 or 3. If you want to save yourself a heap of money, then go for the bundle offer that offers all three of my presets in one pack. My new presets version 3 are available now from my website at stuartwood.com or you can click the link in the description to get your hands on my macro presets. And of course if you use my presets to edit any of your images and you want me to take a look at them and critique them, then take a look at Macro Critique on Instagram, tag Macro Critique and I will critique your images. I do hope you enjoy my new macro presets version 3. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done already, but that's where I shall leave this video. My name's Stuart Wood, and again as always, I'll see you on the next one.